Welcome to the Jelvix channel. Our team loves tech debates, and one of the biggest ones around our dev room table? Fast API versus Django. So here's how we settled it, by letting two of our teams build real projects with each. So who's gonna win? Let's dive in. We are Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't be shy to drop a comment sharing your experience of using either of them. Now, we kicked off with ease of development. How quickly can you go from an idea to a running app? Team A, using Django, hit the ground running. User auth, ORM, forms, middleware, all there. But the real game changer here is Django Admin. This built-in admin interface is often considered a killer feature. It lets you manage your app's data right out of the box, saving countless hours. For many companies, Django Admin is a key reason to pick Django over other frameworks. That's the beauty of Django. It comes with everything built in. Even routing just works out of the box. Working with Django, one of our devs even said, it's like having IKEA furniture. All the parts are already there. So the result? A working prototype within a few hours. Meanwhile, Team B had a bit more setup to do with Fast API. They needed to pick and configure their libraries for authentication, database access, and even some basic routing structure. It gave them complete freedom, but also meant a bit more setup and planning up front. But here's the thing, that freedom is golden when you don't need all the extras Django throws in. Say you're building a lightweight microservice, a public API, or a headless backend for a mobile app. You don't want an admin panel or form engine. You just want fast responses, clean code, and full control. And in those cases, Fast API's build only what you need approach is exactly what you want. Next up, the speed. In this category, Fast API clearly takes the lead. During development, Team B's Fast API app showed itself fast. Even under load, it handled hundreds of concurrent users with minimal delay. Response times were consistently low, and the system stayed efficient. But what's the secret? Hold on, our Jelvix experts will break it down for you. It was built with performance in mind. It's async first, right out of the box. Under the hood, it runs on Starlet, a super lightweight and high-speed ASGI framework. Fast API also makes full use of modern Python features like type hints and async slash await. That combo means faster responses, less blocking, and better handling of simultaneous requests. Django, by contrast, is synchronous by default. It's solid and dependable, but it's not designed for handling large numbers of simultaneous requests out of the box. So even though Team A made Django async with Django channels, it adds extra complexity, meaning more setup, more edge cases, more things to manage. Suddenly, they had to switch from WSGI to ASGI, manage event loops, deal with WebSockets, and restructure parts of the app to avoid blocking code. And it's not just Django. In Fast API, doing blocking operations or calling blocking APIs inside async methods can kill your app's performance. It's a common pitfall for many teams new to async, so always watch for blocking calls in both frameworks. Even small mistakes, like a sync database call inside an async view, could cause bottlenecks. Plus, debugging became trickier, testing got slower, and the team also had to learn some new patterns. It was no longer the classic Django experience they were used to. So, in short, yes, Django can do async, but it's not what it was built for. You can bend it to work that way, but it's like asking a freight train to sprint. So, the moral from this, if you're building API-heavy products, real-time features, or high-concurrency systems, Fast API is the clear winner. Yet, if it's a standard web app where speed under pressure isn't the top concern, Django still does the job quite well. Then there's the question of robustness. How much can each framework handle over time, and how safe are they? Team A at Jelvix felt this instantly. Django is mature, stable, and battle-tested. And no wonder. It's been around since 2005. Our team A didn't have to think too hard about security, because Django comes with built-in security features. It was all mostly built-in. CSRF protection, input validation, user authentication, role-based permissions, you name it. 
Everything is well documented and best practices are already in place. Literally a pleasure to work with. So our team just followed Django's structure and the app stayed clean, secure, and predictable. It was almost like working with a guardrail system. Hard to mess up. Fast API, in turn, is newer and more lightweight. It doesn't force any opinions on how to do things, including how to secure your app. That meant Team B had more freedom, but also more responsibility. They had to manually implement security layers, choose the right authentication flow, validate inputs, handle error responses, and plan their architecture carefully from day one. With Fast API, the team had to build some protections that Django offers by default, like core settings, data sanitation, access control mechanisms, you name it. The good news is that a lot of basic components are recommended in Fast API's official documentation and can be added quickly. You don't have to build everything from scratch, but you have to assemble the right pieces. It was empowering, one dev said, but it also meant we couldn't afford to cut corners, added a less enthusiastic Team B member. Now let's talk about scaling, especially horizontal scaling. This is where Fast API is a clear winner. While Django can scale up, handling horizontal scaling is often painful and requires extra setup. Fast API is much easier to scale horizontally right from the start, making it ideal for cloud native and high load systems. Last but not least, let's talk about community and ecosystem. When you're stuck on a bug at 2 a.m. or you're racing to ship a feature before the weekend, community support can make or break your momentum. So let's say what each of our teams can say in this case. Speaking of Django, it's been around for almost two decades. So no wonder its community is mature and reliable. How can we tell that? Glad you asked. There are plugins for just about everything. Payments, admin extensions, multi-tenancy, you name it. And if you hit a wall, chances are there's already a Stack Overflow thread, a GitHub issue, or even a full blog series about it. One dev from Team A perfectly described this. Every problem we ran into, someone had already solved it, he said. Thus, Team A using Django leaned on this community support a lot. And we mean it, a lot. They pulled in packages for user management, image handling, and email workflows without having to write much custom code. They also found quick solutions to bugs and integration questions just by Googling them. But what about our Team B? Well, Team B made use of some community support too. Compared to Django, Fast API is still the new kid, but it's catching up fast. Its community is growing rapidly, and the documentation? Top tier and approved by Jelvix. Clear, concise, and full of examples. Those are especially helpful for devs familiar with Python type hints and async patterns. As a result, our Team B barely even needed tutorials. Most things were right there in the official guides. However, when it came to third-party libraries or advanced edge cases, they had to experiment a bit more. There just weren't as many mature plugins or ready-made solutions as Django had. But we hope it'll soon catch up. While Django's ORM works well for most apps, if you're building complex dashboards or need advanced analytics, Django ORM may not be enough. For complex reports or SQL queries, people often choose SQL Alchemy for more flexibility. So if your project demands heavy data crunching or custom charts, Fast API paired with SQL Alchemy could be a better choice than Django alone. Summing up, here you have it. A side-by-side -side review and experience of both frameworks from our teams. And here's a final wisdom nugget from one of our Jelvix developers. No framework is a silver bullet. It's all about using the right tool for the right job. We didn't want to just rely on the results from two teams. So we asked around the Jelvix office. Developers, architects, and team leads. Here's what they recommended, based on years of real-world projects. Would you agree with them on all of them? Let us know in the comments. That's it. If you enjoyed this video, we bet you'll also like another trending one by Jelvix. Support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.